we are given the graph of f of x and asked to graph g of x equals negative two times f of the quantity x minus one plus three. Let's begin by reviewing transformations of functions. First, notice for our function g of x, a is equal to negative two. So because a is negative, we have a reflection across the x-axis, and then the two gives a vertical stretch by a factor of two. Next, notice how c is equal to negative one and d is equal to positive three. So because c is negative, or because we have subtraction inside the parentheses, the graph is shifted right one unit, and because d is positive three, the graph is also shifted up three units. Let's record these transformations. Because f of x is given as a segment, if we perform these transformations on the two endpoints, we can then graph g of x. Notice f of x has an endpoint at negative two comma zero and one comma three. Let's begin with the endpoint negative two comma zero and perform the transformations on this point. To reflect a graph across the x-axis and perform a vertical stretch by a factor of two, we multiply the y-coordinates by negative two to shift a graph right one unit, we add one to the x-coordinates, and to shift a graph up three units, we add three to the y-coordinates. And therefore, to transform the point negative two comma zero, again, we add one to the x-coordinate to shift the graph right one unit. To perform the vertical stretch and reflection across the x-axis, we multiply the y-coordinate by negative two, which gives us negative two times zero, and then to shift the graph up three units, we add three to the y-coordinate. Simplifying, we have the ordered pair negative one comma three, which is the corresponding endpoint on the graph of g of x. And now using the other endpoint of one comma three, we will perform the transformation again. So we add one to the x-coordinate to shift the graph right one unit. To perform the reflection across the x-axis, and a vertical stretch by a factor of two, we multiply the y-coordinate by negative two, which gives us negative two times three, and then to shift the graph up three units, we add three to the y-coordinate. Simplifying, the corresponding endpoint on g of x has an x-coordinate of two and a y-coordinate of negative two times three plus three, which is negative three. Let's go ahead and plot these two endpoints and graph g of x. Negative one comma three is here, and two comma negative three is here. And therefore, this is the graph of g of x. I hope you found this helpful.